I didn't close the vlog last night. I was very tired. So I thought I'd open it <laughs> right now. So we didn't really, we literally went to bed last night. That was it, we did nothing. It was a pretty chilled out day, wasn't it? Yeah. Parks wise. We achieved stuff. We got a character meet done. We did one ride. And we did a couple of sit down shows and we saw Making the Magician. So, you know, all good. But we are up in time for magic hours this morning or magic time, whatever they want to call it in DLP. And we are heading over to the, uh, the special entrance for pass holders. Um, so if you are staying on uh, a Dis in a Disney World hotel resort, you can get in for extra magic time um, with your little magic pass, which is what your room key and your dining plan and everything is on now, which is much better than all the paper vouchers they used to give you. Not that we've got a dining plan. But if you are an Infinity Pass holder or a Magic Plus Pass holder, you can also get in for extra magic time. And you also have your own special entrance, which is, as you're looking at the Disneyland Hotel, it's to the left. So that is where we're going to the left. If only we could turn left on planes. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? As long as it's not everything that you own, isn't it? Box to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Throwback. And we are in. Let's go see if any of the full decorations are up yet, yeah, because I love Disneyland Paris full decorations. There's quite a lot of stuff closed here this week, which I was well aware of. So, I'm not overly worried. I know a lot of people I've seen on, oh my goodness, there's Halloween stuff. Oh, I'll show you in a minute, I'm very excited. Not all the stuff's out, like normally they have like pumpkin statues and stuff out. Oh, they are out. <laughs> yes, I'm good this time, just can I talk? I'm trying to get stuff out. I've seen people on Twitter and stuff recently like complaining about so much stuff being closed. One thing I always advise about Disneyland Paris, if you know when you're coming, check what's under rehab because they close a lot of stuff for a long time so yeah check that so we're aware of what's not open so i'm not worried but let's have a look at some of these halloween decorations <laughs> Wearing my Donald Duck shirt, I had to go meet Donald. He, was, he was not a fan of my Mickey ears though. <laughs> Kept knocking them off my head, which is why my hair's a mess now. But yeah, we are gonna go. Fire. Oh, it's fire in the Indian, uh, Indian settlement. So we are gonna head over towards Discovery Land, see if there's another meet and greet going on over here. Because we we didn't know characters last time we were here, what did we, apart from Mickey? So we're trying to do some more characters this time. So I, I love meeting characters, so we're trying to do that a bit more. Um, and I have to say, the characters here are so good, and the, their um, their minders are really awesome as well. So we're enjoying it at the minute. We're just having a little mooch, seeing what characters we can find. Time for the first ride on Buzz, the first of many, I'm sure. <laughs> We've got English birds! The work of that nefarious criminal, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zuri. Oh. 
Can you tell Richard's side he's an Instagram? He's always behind me now taking photos. <laughs> he's like, I'm a grandma. <laughs> This is like dead. And the park, I suppose the park's still not officially open. Come on! Ready? I, I'm not going to say I'm going to beat you because I never do. <laughs> I won! For the first time ever in Vance Paris history, I actually won. I actually won, and it's like. Mine was broken. He wasn't that far behind me. Now to travel to a galaxy far, far away. Hyperspace Mountain. <laughs> Hyperspace Mountain will wake you up in the morning. I'm going to put a, just put the picture in here because I've no idea what I'm doing. I, I, yeah, that's hilarious. But yeah, we're going to go see what else we can do now. Um, it feels very quiet here. I know the park's only just like, well, officially opens in 15 minutes. Um, but it feels, even for magic hours, it feels quiet, doesn't it? Yep. So yeah, we're gonna, oh, Rich wants to go see Phil Magic. We'll check what time that's on. But yeah, we're gonna go see what else we can do this morning. Yeah, we do, we're, we're determined to kind of try and do everything in Disneyland Paris on this trip. Even the orbiters. Apparently that includes the Astro Orbiters or Orbitron as it's called here. So I am dragging Rich on Star Tours because he doesn't normally like Star Tours because it makes him feel a bit sick. But I've just told him to close his eyes because we've not done Star Tours in here since it was refurbed years ago. So yeah, we're doing this one. Star Tours. <laughs> Startles done. How are you feeling? <laughs> Look a bit green. <laughs> you don't do simulators, do you? No. No. It was good though. It was a story that I'd not seen before. We ended up underwater. So that was kind of cool. Never seen that one before. But we are gonna. Do you wanna do Darth Vader? We're gonna. We're gonna do a encounter with Darth Vader, which we've never done the before. And then apparently we've got to go on the Orbitrons because he's feeling sick. So we have to go on the Orbitrons so I can feel sick. <laughs> Share and share alike, eh? Hey? <laughs> it is your time. Thank you. <laughs> we are detecting an increase in rebel transmissions. Something is being planned. Do you know what that might be? Not a okay. No. You are protecting someone. I'm sure that your friends of the rebellion will answer for their betrayal. Do not fear the dark side. Embrace it, and others will fear you. Vader. That was exciting. Enjoyed that. That was really good fun. Um, it is starting to rain a little bit so I might have to put this camera away for a little while. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, it's going to be on and off rain I think all day today. I do have the GoPro so I can always switch to that but it's only like dripping at the minute but this camera does not do well in the wet so we're going to go sit down and watch Philhar Magic and then we've only got the Orbitron to do in Discoveryland and then we've done everything there is to do in Discoveryland. Yeah, good start to the day. Phil Magic doesn't open till 11, so we're gonna go on the Orbitrons now and then hopefully be just in time for Phil Hum Magic. Yay! Oh my 
like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Can't even see him, where is he? Oh, he's down there now. Drop down, like right big. trying to hold on to my camera my ears this camera not my phone this camera my ears and I was like <laughs> and I was afraid my bag was gonna fall out from behind me and we were walking down a dead end oh yeah won't be doing that one again in a hurry but it's done we've never done it before and now it's done so teacups are sick teacups oh god that's even worse Dumbo's open now as well oh god okay yeah we'll do we'll do that Give me some time to recover from those though first, please. So we came out of Philhar Magic and it's actually raining a fair bit now. So I've had to put my coat on and we've put the, the G7X away. And I'm now vlogging on the GoPro, which is so weird. I've never vlogged on a GoPro before. But as this is better in damp weather, we're going to go with it. So sorry if the sound quality is not great. I haven't. Like, I haven't done anything other than time lapses with this GoPro yet. So this is going to be an interesting test of, of what the GoPro Hero 7 can do. Um, black. Is it important to say black? Well, it's the new one, because the, the Hero GoPro, 7 was the old one. This the is GoPro the Hero 7, black. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is, it is raining. I've taken my ears off as well, because it's quite windy. So we'll see how we go with the GoPro now, rather than the big camera. Hopefully it sounds all right. I honestly... I've never tried. Let's find out. We're hunting for meeting greets, but there's none out at the moment that we haven't done. So we will try and get some done a bit later. Probably in that way. Lost him. Found ya. <laughs> so yeah, we're walking over to Pirates now. I'm going to try out the new phone and uh, see how that does in dark light. Is that your plus two? Trying to be funny. I am funny. Uh, not too sure. Let's go do pirates. It's the best pirates out of the two that we've ever done. We will add more pirates to our list over the coming years. I'm sure we have plans. Wouldn't you like to know what those plans are? But you won't. <laughs> well, you will if you follow Rich on Twitter because he's always giving away our plans on Twitter. Yeah. <sighs> Supposed to be like secrets. Here we go pirates. I'm just a pirate. So I filmed it on my phone, but I'm gonna have to go back and do it again because I got too distracted, like zooming in and zooming out and like taking photos. The um... <laughs> getting distracted by him and his fizzy pop. Um, the iPhone 11 Pro is brilliant in dark light, and I was able to. I was get, taking photos on, as I was going with it as well, which is why. I probably won't use the footage from it on that one because it was I was zooming in and zooming back out and taking trying to get good photos. So I'll, I'll put some of the photos that I got in here. I was really impressed. So I'm so glad I managed to upgrade my phone before coming out here because that was awesome. And without any external lighting. So no, this was all done. I didn't have like my flash on. I didn't have like the, the light on the camera on. It was all done just off the camera itself. So really impressed. But hopefully you'll get to see how that comes out when I come, we come back round and film it. Peter Pan's flight is currently down for a rehab, but we knew about that. So that's all right. We're okay with that. But Dumbo's now open. Yay! Which means we can do Dumbo. 
And then I think everything else in Fantasyland is open. I think it's just that that's closed. I know Toad Hall is closed for food. There's a lot of restaurants closed this week for, for food. But as the food offerings in Disneyland Paris are often a bit poo anyway, it's not a great loss, is it? No. Oh, a long queue for Dumbo. But we just moved well, in. It's not even 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, and we've done quite a lot already, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. It's a very long queue for Dumbo. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very long queue for Dumbo. This is weird vlogging with this because I can't see myself. Like normally I can see what I'm looking at and now I'm like, I don't know if I'm even filming my face. I know I, know I am because of the, the wide angle on the GoPro. But it's busy in Fantasyland. We'll just have a mooch and see, see if we can get on anything without queuing for too long. Let's make me do this one. Mad Hats teacups. <laughs> I know why I'm on this ride. One ride makes me feel sick. One. So many they leave your hill and I have to do them all. And he's like the phone in our going and starts the first time we've ever done this year. It is. My name is anymore. Oh my god, why do people do this for fun? Right, hang on. <laughs> Can I even put my head up? I hate you so much, dude. Oh my god. I tried to do a time lapse of walking around Alice's labyrinth, but it, it didn't work because I did it on photo, not video. So, <sighs> oh well, we will try that another day. But now we are down in the far corners of Fantasyland, and we're probably going to go on the Petit de Conti Bay. And obviously, Casey Jr.'s coming round the track with a smoky stack. Casey Jr.'s back. First thing we're going to meet in Greek Trigger. Yeah. Hi, Piglet. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, it's quite loud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know only half the people understood it. Oh, you're looking good. <laughs> we just found Piglet and there's nobody here. Is just find a meet and greet picket with a very rude cast member having just had a really long wait for a queue with Tigger and Pooh but we didn't care because the cast members were lovely so it just shows the difference that it can make 
We had one interaction with him and he was so rude this way. No, no, no. Um, so now we're going to go on... Where is he? Oh, he's there. I think we're going to go on Small World now. Because Casey Jr. and Le Petit Contefe have gone down, I think, because of the weather. Cause it is pretty miserable. So um, why not go and do the most irritating and annoying ride in all the land? It's a small world. Yay! And I just walked through someone's smoke. That was minging. So, <coughs> funny story. While we were literally like the next people to wait for figure and food, the character attendants, and you'll find that a lot of the friends of characters here are English. They recruit quite heavily from the UK. So they were, she was English. And she was having a laugh and a joke with her other friend. And she said a naughty word. <laughs> quite that. And me and Rich were the only two to clock it and we kind of looked at her and we're like Ooh. And then we just burst into hysterics because we found it very very funny Yeah we're going this way Oh no we can't <laughs> Yeah we found it very very funny um, Oh we could have gone that way yeah. Oh why did we go this way? I don't know. I thought she was stood there, but like not hitting them, but they can go this way. Oh well, we go this way. Yeah, it was very funny. She was, yeah, Tigger and Prue told her wrong. But we, we thought it was terrible. She was so apologetic as well. She was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, it doesn't bother us, darling. <laughs> I say a lot worse, trust me. <laughs> which is crazy because it doesn't feel that busy here today at all and it's getting slightly busier but it really isn't that busy so 